everybody. Welcome to this week's Weekly Roundup. It's been a minute, and I apologize for that, but there is a lot going on. I, like last Friday, I was at the League of Wisconsin Municipalities Board meeting, so that's the lobbying entity that we do a lot of advocacy work through. I know one Saturday, or excuse me, one Friday, I had a bridge meeting that I know for sure um, about the Main Street Bridge that kind of bled into this time. So I apologize it's been a little bit, but I'm glad to be back this week. So let's talk about streets. Um, August 1st, so next week, West Milwaukee Street will be completely closed for grading and then paving. So that street closure will be from South Montgomery Street to South Church. So that's kind of that auto zone area. So complete closure um, on the 1st. So make sure you make other plans to move through that area. The 4th Street project from Jones to the bridge was supposed to be paved this week. But again, this is a state-run project. And due to the uh, intense heat we've had this week, they've postponed that paving for until next week. So August 31st and 1st. Um, we'll have the final coat of asphalt on North 4th, which I'm excited about, and I'm sure a lot of people are too. Uh, the Senior Center lot will hopefully be paved the week of August 7th, and then we are still um, doing some trench work in the South Washington Street area, um, and I hope that by the time I have the next weekly roundup, I'll be able to have a date on when that will be um, buttoned up for the year. Uh, as I said, it's pretty hot outside, so just a reminder that um, there are cooling shelters available in the city, so if you have no respite from this intense heat, um, the Senior Community Center until 4.30 today, and then the library probably, I think, until 6 today, since it's a Friday, um, are open to you um, for uh, cooling needs. And then if you're in the county or you know people that live in the county, there's a really nice list of all the cooling centers that the county offers on our uh, city Facebook page, so you can share that with others who may be in need. But the long and short is to make sure you're drinking water you know, if it's very hot out, please use our cooling centers, which it is. And if you have no respite from that, use our centers and get indoors for a bit. I wanted to mention, so next week, Monday, the 31st, at 5.30 here at City Hall, we're going to be having a very important meeting with the Transit Commission um, that talks about our corner stop service. So if you have students that are using um, a corner stop service to get picked up for school, um, we received an audit from the state and we are uh, no longer allowed to provide that service in the manner that we have, which is devastating. You know, that's a really important um, resource to make sure that kids can get to school through that corner service. I want to be clear, you know, you can still call and have your child picked up from your home, but that corner service was one area, a little bit of a discounted rate, but we are no longer going to be able to provide it in that manner. So we have um, been working a little bit with the school district. Um, I believe members of the school district are going to come to our transit meeting on the 31st. So if this is something that affects you, I really would encourage you to come um, so that we can hear what you, your needs are. And we're going to do our best to see if there's a way we can accommodate those. Uh, but we are a state and federally funded and locally funded uh, program for our, our shared ride taxi. And we have to be compliant or we risk losing the funding. Uh, property tax bills are also due Monday, so that's the 31st. So if you pay in installments, the last one is due on the 31st. You can pay online, you can pay in person, you can send it in the mail, um, and you can put it in our Dropbox. Uh, we've been doing hydrant painting, and I've gotten asked more times than I can count, why are the hydrants white? <laughs> and it's a primer. So um, the public hydrants will still be painted red, and the private hydrants will be painted yellow. We have 20 to 25, I think, private hydrants yet in the city. But if you see them white, Rest assured, just a primer, they will get painted uh, red or yellow. The Citizen Police Academy um, begins September 7th. This is a free class. It lasts 10 weeks. It just provides an in-depth uh, experience and kind of a behind-the-scenes experience of what it's like uh, to be in our police department. So if you're interested in joining the Citizens Police Academy, go to uh, the Police Department Facebook page, get some information on how you can apply to be in that program. They do meet Thursday evenings from 6.30 to 9.15. And again, that's for 10 weeks. Fire station, whew, we do something with the fire station uh, weekly, I believe at this point. Um, so right now I know the last time we met, we were in interior design. So we're kind of starting some of those interior components. Um, there is a, a sign up at the site that has a nice QR code. So if you're interested in learning more about the station, uh, you can obviously go to our website or our Facebook page, or if you're walking or biking by, you can scan that QR code and get more information. We have an RFP out, I still believe it's still out, for construction management services. So we are really starting to kind of pick up steam and bring on um, the people that we need to make sure that the project gets done on time and in budget. Uh, two grant opportunities. So the uh, city's redevelopment authority just very recently re reopened their revolving loan fund. And I think they have just over $200,000 to loan out. So it's not a ton of money, so it is first come, first serve. 
Um, so these loans can be used for facade beautification, structural repairs, major mechanical upgrades, design, engineering, architectural project fees. Um, it is a f lower than what you would get out in the regular market interest rate. I think it's just 4.95% is what's jumping out at me. Um, and so you can go to the Facebook page, go to our website, call us here at City Hall, and we can help uh, you get applied for that program. The second one is something that we only do once a year. So this is called our Public Service Enterprise Fund. And this is a small, small fund in our city budget um, that allows for us to support some of the community events that support uh, everyone. So if you think of like the flags that go out at, um, on Memorial Day or fireworks um, for the 4th of July, uh, community laundry service, some mental health services, there's a, a small pot of money that we can use um, to provide some assistance to those services. So if you're interested in uh, applying for the Public Service Enterprise Funds, they're due August 21st and our finance director will be your point of contact for any questions you have. On the recreation front, we are kicking up for fall. I can't believe it's already here, but um, we are open for uh, flag football for grades four through six, adult fall softball, fall youth soccer, um, ballet and dance, Next week, I believe, starts uh, Youth Kicker. Well, we call it kickball. When I was a kid, we called it kicker. Uh, out at Brank Work. So it's just kind of a uh, kind of casual um, organization will be done by some of our uh, park staff just to make sure we don't have any fights with the kids. But it's just another opportunity to, to get outside and do something uh, active before school starts. Uh, we also have an August 17th family night at Cart Park, which there's a long series of really fun activities that they have planned. So if you're looking for a family event, I'd encourage you to check that out. I wanted to mention we do have a new Facebook page for the Benson Family Town Square. So uh, there's so much happening there, which is fantastic, that we realize is probably best uh, for both our residents and our visitors that that has its own landing spot. So if you haven't already, go to the Benson Family Town Square Facebook page. Make sure you like that page, and then you'll get more updates on the events happening there. Starting August 5th, we're going to talk about stormwater, stormwater, stormwater. <laughs> and most people don't think about stormwater, right? Like, you know, it rains and it's uh, great when it's this dry and, and drought condition, or it can be an inconvenience if it's too much rain. But really, the city is responsible through um, some permits that we have through the DNR for managing that stormwater and making sure it's to a certain standard of clean. And um, that is an expensive process to undertake. So we will be participating in Stormwater Week. There's going to be a variety of 101 classes. Here's a great one. I know people care a lot about leaves. Our stormwater permit requires certain actions to be taken with leaves. So there is a stormwater uh, 101 class about leaves, I know that, and a, a variety of other 101 type topics that I think is worthwhile for people to uh, join if your time permits. Um, we are also going to be doing, um, through our partnership with the Rock River Coalition, partnering to install native grasses and flowers along the creeks at Riverside Park. So you might see some of that work starting now. If you want to be a part of that volunteer effort, please go to our Facebook page and get registered. Uh, or go to the Rock River Coalition page as well. Uh, next week, we have some important meetings. In addition to the meeting for transit, we will also be speaking at Public Safety and Welfare about Water Street. So this is the area around the town square. We've had some requests to close it during our um, event season, if you will. We've had some requests to close it all the time. We've had some requests to just improve crosswalks. So Public Safety and Welfare is the place to have that discussion. So if you're interested in being a part of that, I would encourage you to attend. Um, they meet on Wednesdays, but we'll post, I'm sure, the information for that meeting. Library uh, also has a meeting next week. Um, and I do know that in addition to our city meetings, the uh, Tuesday Farmer's Market is going. I know there's some outdoor opportunities for music. So there's a lot uh, going on in the city next week. And then after that, I think, is Riverfest. So <laughs> we have a, a busy August, uh, which feels trite at this point because we just had a busy July. But there's a lot happening in the city, and that's an incredible blessing for us. So. I do want to mention the Benson Family Town Square this weekend is hosting the Ultimate Aldeans. That's at 7 p.m. at the square. Food uh, and drinks start at 6 p.m. So that should be um, a good time. And if that is not of interest to you, there have been restaurants opening in the city, which is something people have asked for for at least the entire time I've been mayor. So I'm excited that we have a couple of new ones to offer. Uh, the Aquatic Center will be open. Visit our local businesses. You know you have a lot of opportunity. So that's all that I have. Have a good weekend. We'll see you next week.